got him as he kicks it up to Dacos. Dacos against Tom Elvis. Dacos under the left foot. Is this a miraculous goal? A brilliant effort by Dacos. Four and five. Kick to half forward. Starts a bit. Oh, Some of the game's greatest moments have come in Collingwood v Carlton clashes and amazingly, look at this record, Ross. This record, Eddie alerted us to this, played 258 times for 127 wins apiece, four draws and the stage is set beautifully for tomorrow night. It's enormous. I was a Carlton fan as a kid. Iconic moments, Harms banging it back in, Jezelinko, famous comebacks and often got on top of the pie. So I'm not excited. Footy's back. I'm attending. I'm taking my daughter tomorrow night. I can't wait to get there. 75,000 people and wonderful changes for both sides, Ross. In comes Jack Martin and Zach Williams out Sylvani O'Brien. So good changes there Signi for the Blues. Significant. Yeah. Adds midfield depth and that's where they were soundly beaten last week. And, you know, unveiled a new recruit. Zach Williams, he, he's a special talent. Make no mistake, I think they've done incredibly well to get him and we know Sidebottom comes back in. He's a superstar. They sadly lacked his run and um, Callum Brown comes in to yeah. add as also. Yeah, Sidebottom arguably Collingwood's most important player but Ross, you're concerned about both sides midfields who were beaten last yeah, week. Yeah, both of their defences defended really well but they got dominated inside 50, 70. If you go there, it's Cripps versus Bolton on the spread. Just trotting, just not enough pressure. You wouldn't want it. And here, Edwards, Walsh off Bolton again with Edwards, and it just it was too hard for the Carlton defence. They battled on Manfield, gave him a clip last week, they fought on, and just here, Adams collapses in, he leaves McRae out the back, who's a scalper with the ball, and you wouldn't want to defend that, and in fact you can't. And then also the intensity of the Bulldogs, when they didn't win it, they scrapped, there was bodies on the line, big smothers, bang, diving Dunkley, ferocious tackle, that's what Carlton... All Collingwood need to deliver. It's going to be won and lost in the midfield. So that's what you need to do for your team. Ross, they're both up against exceptional midfielders. The Richmond have a great midfield. The Western Bulldogs have a very good midfield. But you've paired these up against each other. And Grundy and Pendlebury are the focus of yours. Yeah, I think Grundy, he's spoken. I need to be aggressive. We want to see his follow-up. Give him first use. Play big. Give him a chance. But it's really evenly matched. There's no excuses for either one. As you said, side bottom, arguably the run. He's the longer, longest runner in their team. So he'll get through the lines. And it's, you know what? Carlton need to emerge here. Here's an opportunity. Big stage, Thursday night, 75,000. Which midfield's going to stand up? Because it, make no mistake, it will determine the result of the game. Carlton in the pre-season have loved Williams' ability to score goals. So let's see if he can do that tomorrow night. What I liked about Carlton was their speed. So we know David Teague has played this way, but he's been hurt on the rebound. So this is where I can see that I think they have to play this way. And that's where they could potentially trouble Collingwood. I thought the speed of the ball for two and a half, three quarters was pretty good. Yeah, and, the and what's the lesson from last week, the Bulldogs Collingwood? If you just bomb it in Carlton, Howe and Moore will dominate. So do what Sydney did to Brisbane, pass the ball in. And Make this is the flip defend. side, Ross. Collingwood weren't as bold with the football as they need to be. What does Nathan Buckley do this week? Does he think he says to the boys, come on? We've got to be bolder and take the game on because they scored seven goals and didn't get many inside 50s. Yeah, so midfield lift, I think his back line slaughtered the ball, turned it over a bit coming out, so it looked like Noble used it a little bit better. But let's, because they're a control of the ball team, they need a little bit more flow through the lines and that's what the stand the mark rule has done to the game. They need to take advantage of that, give their forwards quicker ball movement. Everyone's got a thought on Mason Cox and so have I, Ross. So I want to show you where Mason's done. So he was playing on Gardner and Bailey Williams and players like that, but he was so high up the field. He took his best mark late when he was 25 metres out from goal. Every best, best great game he's played for Collingwood, this is where he does his work. How can Nathan keep him around that distance all night tomorrow? Well, if I don't know anything about AFL yeah. football, I've just listened to that. It's pretty simple, isn't yeah. it? Just leave him 20 metres out from goal. Don't kick it in. He said, let him launch. He's undefendable. Up the ground, the runners go, I'll push you under and off I go. So play to your strengths. And if they can't, if you can't mark it, they've got to take his arm. So, you know, free kick or mark, and you get a soft drop, a chance to score. But Nathan Buckley's been a great, very, very good coach. Almost great with the Premiership. So back him in to make a smart call. Carlton or Collingwood, Ross? The Blues need to get this yeah. done. 
They need a side bottom of Penderbury go, but the Blues, this is your opportunity. Stand up. You took a step forward last week. You need to get it done.